Assalamualaikum my name is Muhammad Shimas Sayaj you are watching my youtube channel in this video i am going to teach you or we are going to study fourier's law of heat conduction as we know that in heat transfer there are three modes of heat transfer that are conduction convection and radiation for all these three modes of heat transfer there there are three specific laws for uh, conduction we are having fourier's law of heat transfer so in this video we are going to study or and uh, see that what is uh fourier's law of heat transfer so uh first of all we see that definition that says that the rate of heat transfer is directly proportional to the area that is will be held perpendicular and a uh, temperature gradient so uh, the rate of heat transfer is directly proportional to the two things that is area and temperature gradient so first of all we will see that what is the rate of heat transfer because we know that q is uh, q has its, uh, has its units as joules or kilojoules when we talk of uh, si units and if we talk of american units it has the units of btu so now what is the rate of heat transfer if we divide this q with t so now it becomes the rate of heat transfer in heat transfer we study these rates so you can say that this q is equal to dq over d in differential form if uh, i can write this as well so this is the rate of heat transfer so uh, it is directly proportional to the area so now here i had drawn a wall uh, or a plain surface so this is the exposed area if i give you the example of a book so th this is my wall or area uh, this is my book so now if this uh, this is the direction of my heat transfer so heat is coming from this so this area is held perpendicular to the direction of heat flow so the more will be the area the more will be the exposed surface and more the heat will transfer to the other side so now i will come to the second condition that says that it uh, heat uh, transfer is directly proportional to the temperature gradient so now what is temperature gradient so we see that if we divide the temperature difference with the uh, width so uh, uh, heat comes so now th this wall temperature has a uh, temperature uh, you can suppose that it is 100 degree centigrade so now at the other end uh, you observe the temperature that you have got is 80 degree centigrade so this this is the delta t so the more will be the delta t the more uh, the more will be the temperature here the more will be the temperature you will get here so now uh, what affects uh, this temperature the more will so i had shown you that the more will be the temperature difference the more will be the heat transfer so now what is this dx as we see that the more will be the width of this uh, wall or this book the less will be the heat transfer i will show by S suppose that this is the dx heat will transfer here heat will trans come here and here in this uh, uh, wall you are having atoms uh, now if a heat will transfer to this and uh, atom and it will uh, start to vibrate due to its vibration its kinetic energy increases and its transfer is kinetic and it will transfer its kinetic energy to this and then then this and then this and then this and now you will get this ki here kinetic energy in the form of temperature uh here it if suppose that here temperature was 100 so now uh, the, these kind of, uh, atoms have taken some of the energy so now the temperature you are getting here is 90 or 80 as we have talk of here so the more will be the thickness of this wall the more will the atoms and the more will be the atoms present and uh, the more the atoms will transfer their energy and the less energy or uh, temperature difference you will get here so what is temperature gradient i had uh, explained in my previous videos that what is the temperature gradient if we uh, trans uh, divide the temperature difference with the uh, length or thickness in case of uh, solids because conduction happen mostly in solids so <laughs> so this is the temperature gradient so the uh, second point i has i had made you clear that uh, temperature uh, heat rate of heat transfer is directly proportional to the temperature gradient and in this temperature gradient it is directly proportional to the temperature difference how the more will be the temperature here the more will be the temperature here, the more temperature will you get here after some losses and it is inversely proportional to the 
लेंथ और द विथ ऑफ द वॉल द मोर विल बी द विथ द मोर विल एटम्स विल प्रेजेंट एंड दे विल ट्रांसफर हीट एंड लेस टेम्परेचर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हीट यू विल गेट हेयर सो नाउ इफ आई कंबाइन दीज टू इक्वेशंस सो आई हैड कंबाइन दीज टू इक्वेशंस सो इफ आई रिमूव द साइन ऑफ प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी आई विल गेट अ कॉन्स्टेंट दैट इज के एंड दिस कॉन्स्टेंट इज कॉल्ड थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी सो नाउ दिस इज द मैथमेटिकल फॉर्म ऑफ फोरियस लॉ ऑफ हीट कंडक्शन सो नाउ द लास्ट थिंग दैट इज क्यू here we in the mathematical form or in the literature you will see that we are having a negative sign so why this negative sign is present this negative sign is due to this temperature gradient so in this temperature gradient uh, you will always in the uh, delta t you will uh, uh, minus t2 minus t1 so when you will minus this t2 minus t1 so uh, you will also uh, always in temperature in any gradient you always get a negative value so to uh, compensate this negative value we put this negative sign here so that we can get a uh, heat as positive so uh, i had explained that why a negative sign comes here the last thing that we are remained that uh, we are going to made us even simpler form of this fourier's law of heat conduction so q if we divide if i divide this q here and uh, here i will remain with k dt over dx so now if i remove this k so you can see that q over a is directly proportional to dt over dx so now what is this this is simply the uh, rate of heat transfer per unit area is directly proportional to the temperature gradient so that is called fourier's law of heat uh, conduction fourier's law for heat conduction uh, in my next videos i will make videos on various cases uh, the heat conduction from uh, a plane wall uh, curved surfaces or uh, circular surfaces so stay tuned to my channel so i hope you like the video inshallah meet you in in another video uh, assalam alaikum